one of the things that I often find myself using Magix for is sectioning parts. And there are a few different ways to go about this, uh, varying in different levels of complexity. The first thing I'm going to show is a basic sectioning operation. I'm going to load in a sample model to work from. And I'm going to use that core sample again, just because it tends to be a pretty good reference model here. And I'm just going to show the basic sectioning operations. And the way we achieve this is by enabling our part section sliders here, where I can actually, on the x, y, or z axis, select a specific area on my part by using these slider tools and go ahead and perform a section operation. So I'm going to go ahead and do that along that y axis, uh, just somewhere like this right in my part. So looking at this, I can see where my part's going to be sectioned. If I want to section the part along this area or any of these other ones, if I were to, for example, enable both of these, it would cut both of these at once. I'm just going to do this single section for right now and go ahead and do cut or punch with my part selected. And with this, it's saying cut the visible sections of this part along the contour selected here. I'm going to go ahead and hit apply. And once this is done, as you can see, it's automatically colored those parts and we have two separate sections ready to be printed. This is especially useful when we're either sectioning out parts of STL assemblies to be printed in multi-material prints on the PolyJet printer or for applications where we're uh, splitting large FDM parts that either can't fit in a Fortis 900 or smaller system type. Really powerful functionality within Magix to quickly and effectively section parts.